Introducing the crispy parm pizza only from Papa John's. Sometimes riding in the car isn't enjoyable. Oh. Visit the Hemp House. We have a selection of 100% safe CBD pet products. Visit HempHouseChad.com or come see us in person. The Hemp House in North Shore, East Ridge, and Ottawa. Spring break is right around the corner. I'm sure many of you are looking for ways to get away and soak up some sunshine. And what better place to go than the beautiful beaches of Pensacola. And this morning, we get to go there a little bit virtually because we're very happy to have Darren Schaefer, who is the CEO and president of Visit Pensacola, join us this morning to kind of give us the 101 on how to go and have a great time. Nice to see you this morning. Oh, good morning. So what a beautiful office you have. Yes, thank you. Um, I always wear a coat out to the beach. Um. <laughs> Let's talk about your beaches because it's, it's the perfect backdrop. Because what draws people uh, to Pensacola, many things, I'm sure you know that quite well, Darren, but that white sand, I don't care how many times you go, you walk away <laughs> amazed at how gorgeous it is. Well, you're absolutely right. Uh, the, that sugar fine white sand uh the blue green water it is it is truly special i have lived in multiple places where there are beaches but uh truly the gulf coast stands alone and uh pensacola has uh two different beach areas pensacola beach and perdido key uh they're easy to get to free parking you, you can have a busy part of the beach or you can kind of have it all to yourself uh, and that's just one of the reasons why we say Pensacola is the way to beach. I have a friend here in town and she and her family have been going with friends of theirs. Their kids have grown up together every year going down to Perdido. Uh, they, they couldn't be summer without it. So when y'all came up with this phrase of the way to beach, you feel like you've got the perfect way to enjoy it. Well, absolutely, because, uh, you know, a beach experience is different uh, for everyone. And so some people like lots of activity and like to be around a lot of people. Uh, some people just want uh, a space all to themselves. And I think the ease of getting to the beaches here in Pensacola is is definitely an, <laughs> a plus. Um, lots of parking compared to other places that I've been to along the, the Gulf Coast and um, other places in Florida. So uh, that's great. I think. Pensacola is still a good value in uh, for, for the, the traveler, and uh, it's all the other things that you can do in addition to the beach, because to be honest, after about four hours of amazing water and sand, uh, most people are ready to take a break and do something else, and there's lots of things that you can do in the Pensacola area. Yeah, let's talk about downtown Pensacola, because that's a, a fun attraction for folks to go. If it's a cloudy day, go down there. If it's a sunny day, still go down there. Yeah, absolutely. I think what's unique is on, on the Panhandle, there really is only one community that has a, a true downtown, and that's that's Pensacola. And uh, it has gone through a transformation. Uh, you know, we talk about downtown Pensacola 15 years ago. It would be a different experience. But now uh, all the investments have really created this walkable area that's filled with shops and restaurants nightlife uh you know the arts and culture scene is all downtown the museums um uh, it's I, I think what's really neat is the architecture too uh really is uh kind of mirrors that that uh, spanish french influence that you have in new orleans uh you can find a lot of that in the pensacola area as well so let's talk about that because as you were talking we were able to watch some videos uh tourism videos and you notice people in period clothing which is odd to see in a beach town but there's a lot of history in pensacola that people might not realize well, that's right so pensacola is america's first settlement back in 1559 tristan de luna settled pensacola and that was a good six years before saint augustine was established um and while we uh, also then experienced a hurricane that set us back a little bit uh we're not the oldest uh, American settlement, but we were the first. And that history, you see that in the architecture and the food, and uh, there's a lot of pride among the residents of Pensacola. And I think that's part of the experiences that uh, our residents are part of that. And there's definitely 
Uh, I felt it when I first came here, um, how welcoming and friendly uh, the residents were and uh, really made you, you feel like you were you're part of the community right away. Yeah, let's talk about the fact that when you first came there, because you've had a, a great benefit of living in some mighty pretty places in the country, and yet you too were drawn to those beautiful sandy beaches. Can you imagine now hanging your hat in any other place? You know, I, I can't. Um, you know, the beaches are, are truly special. Um, and then it's it's all the other things. I mean, Pensacola is the home of the uh, Naval Aviation Station, home of the Blue Angels. And uh, you get to see them practice on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. That's coming up this spring. They'll start flying again and they do two big shows here. Uh, there's lots of festivals and events that are held throughout the year. We've got uh, in fact, Mardi Gras this weekend is a big event, and then mm. uh, we have a big Comic-Con called Pensacon the weekend after that, and then following that, we have the Sun Belt Conference Basketball Championships uh, being held here, and that's 14 schools competing to get into the NCAA tournament. So uh, wow. just an example of, of, of seems like every weekend there's some great things to do. So if people are wanting to jump on their laptops and try to book a trip, what would you? how would you advise them to get the best experience they can find. Sure. Well, a great way to learn about the destination and explore it is uh, our website, which is visitpensacola.com. Um, we also have an app in the App Store uh, that you can get to, the Pensacola, uh, Visit Pensacola app. Um, and that's, that's a great way to see what's available. Um, and then, of course, we've got a great selection of, of lodging. So obviously, we've got the hotels that are right on the beach. We have the condos and the vacation rentals that are on the beach, but also downtown. It's, you know, it's, it's really, uh, you know, we talk about our downtown. It's becoming a destination in its own right where people are coming in just to spend a weekend in downtown Pensacola. And uh, again, lodging and vacation rental options there as well. Um, and uh, we have about another thousand rooms coming into the market in the, in the next year or so. So lots of Lots of options for folks, depending on how they like to travel. Well, we will check it out, and I think I might go put my flip-flops on just to get me in the beach <laughs> mode this morning. Darren, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Julie. Have a great one. Thank you. When something's just right, it's more than just a good fit. It's what fits our lives. And when you find it, you'll know. Badcock Home Furniture and More. Just right. What happens when it's you?